Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. We just want to ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're gonna open it up for you. Hey, fellas, what's going on? This doesn't so concern you, up. pal. Beat it. This is the police. This is your last warning. Open the goddamn door. Open up, police. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Open up. We just want to ask you some questions. If you don't open the door, we're going to open it up for you. Welcome to McCluskey and Sons. You looking for something special? <laughs> Gun ain't much without some ammo.
Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me in a rotten jail. That's good, because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night, and word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Good morning, sir. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me.
course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. That's the way in. Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Dog could be a problem. somebody. Would you shut up? What, somebody there? There's nobody there, see? So shut up before you turn in the meatloaf. Lousy mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Time to move. Having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, heard that one before, pal. Hey, what was that scream? Sounded like what shit your ears. That was a pig. Just ignore it. Yeah, but you knew around here or what? Shut the fuck up. So, uh, you still. 
still thinking about waiting? Yeah, probably next month. I was thinking of maybe, you know, becoming a voice actor. You two. Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beefsteak. Hey, don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, baby. How'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's, it's just a question of whether they're gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Stop. over there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Send you? Yeah, he noticed he was a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? Not 
Open it! Alright, Vito. Let's get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They dead yet? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are already on their way over. Shit, too late. Here they come. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Yeah, nah, nah. before he makes any more fucking Come on. Calls. Let me in. to be able to open it like this. Yeah, we need something heavy, like a, like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Join me? Uh, thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Uh, uh, blood, huh? No, just take the side of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea.
and he's going, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ, was that you? Vito? Oh Jesus, why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh, interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so whoa, of Luca's whoa. bodyguards who ran back, into nobody. Back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Excuse me, Mr. Scarlett, sir. Uh, maybe you should go home. You don't look so well. Also, you smell. Okay, sir, I'll get you something, but then please, go wash yourself, huh? So, here you are. Come back anytime, I said. Come again, sir. Good afternoon. Ugh, what is that unholy stench? Oh, please, sir, be quick. You smell like the Limburger. Looks great. I hope I satisfied you, sir. See you again. Hey, Vito, you made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. 
All right. I'll see you fellows upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen, a society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family, or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me. Which finger would pull the trigger? Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico Nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And his consul You might wonder why I take this risk again after spending almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Everybody, let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you did, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old, I'll let the good times roll. Don't sit there mumbling and talking trash. If you want to have a ball, you gotta spend some cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll Don't care whether you're young or old I'll let the good times roll Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there.
Yeah, I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, uh I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hiya, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with you? okay. You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay. So now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in a room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. The gabiche. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. We'll take my car. All right, I'll drive. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot and use the back entrance. So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay! No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. 
you're gonna blow the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. Here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. Right, Vito and me, you'll go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're gonna need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here, so don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? Ah, shit, it's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit. Come on, you idiot. Where the fuck are you? Uh, can I help you, sir? I don't think you're supposed to be Well, where is he? He go on smoke break. The people always on smoke break. Yeah. Yeah. Are you lost, buddy? Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was. All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go, move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us.
That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Haven't seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. Fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilled something in the conference room. You ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. Was that a yes? Ugh, please go away. These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. You'll be the most romantic night of your life, I swear. One of the guys who was uh, here before, he uh, tripped and fell. The poor guy hit his head pretty hard. About five or six times. So now there's blood all over the fucking place. And we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up. And you gotta make it snappy. Fucking pricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, that. The. Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow. The blue. And the plus. And the plus. And, uh, the red. And matching. The negative. Ne uh, the blue. And. Cross over here. Perfect. Okay. The hard part is almost over. Yeah, looks like you're done. All right, you just can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. You really think I asked for a 12 inch pianist? Cool, I wasn't talking to you. right at me, asking stupid questions. I'm not supposed to answer. Damn, I ain't used to this much exercise. Why do they gotta put so many fucking stairs? Vito, Vito, hold on, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified what the clip. Hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you looking at? Gotta come down and give me a fucking smack. Damn it, these guys. Fuck me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, this is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on. Check it out. <laughs>
Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Okay, Vito. Here we go. Come on, take a shot. Hurry up here. I'm going in. Go fucking down. I bet, huh? Is that the fucking? I'm going in. It's fucking over. Be careful. There might be more of them. Bad side. You're fucking dead. <laughs> That's the fucking best you Doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh shit! Jesus, okay, okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. He ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Okay, get on. We got what? Hey. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Okay. This is the right floor. Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. What the fuck are you waiting for? This ain't no fucking peep show. Get back to work. up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> ah, here we go. These assholes ain't gonna know. Whoa! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Fuck it in! What the hell was that? I don't know. The thing just blew. 
We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Shit. Yes. Right, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. Felt like a fucking earth, but what the fuck? Oh shit! Fucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna fuck die for this. Get away! Come on, Vito. Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it. Rain. Wise ass. I can't see a damn thing through all this water. Pixar. Fuck. There's more of them coming. Come on, assholes. I'm waiting for you. Three. Two. Hey, what the heck is going on here? Get out of there, lady. We ain't got nothing against you. Next time, bring a bigger bomb, will you? Hey, how the fuck was I supposed to know Clementi would be in a bathroom? He wouldn't have been if the bomb didn't go off early. Don't worry, we'll get him. Go, Vito! Joe, I got eyes too. What are you, you know? scared, asshole? Oh, oh, 
Clemente. Here goes one of them. Nice job. Clemente's next. Eddie's number. I'll call him. Right. Hello? This is Joe. It's done. Everything went smooth. No, it didn't. Why? Marty's dead. What? They got Marty. We left them there. Okay, okay. what about Clemente? Done. All right. Don't worry about the kid. Small price to pay. The main Sm thing is it's Small done. price? Come on now. That's my fucking friend you're talking hey, about. Joe, Joe, don't go taking it out on me. It was your idea. Nobody forced the kid to go. I'm sorry, but shit happens, right? Come by the Falcon tomorrow to get your money. Yeah, whatever. The fuck you're sorry? All right, take it easy now. All right, calm down. I'm sorry too, more than you think, but you knew the risks. You too. Hey. This was a dangerous job. You took him along, he died. What, you think the war was any different? And Eddie didn't even know the kid, so don't blame him. You should go home. Okay, well... Just give me a minute to get changed. Huh. I'm sorry, kid. I am so sorry.
Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone plain salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look. I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey. If you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago, but now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. So you here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito. About time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe. I wonder why. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. You drive here? Ah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right, finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about to leave? Marty, I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit, now where'd I put my keys? I'm so sorry, <coughs> This never should have happened. Never should have happened. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just... You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right, I'm going.
right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about... Look, just... Call me tomorrow, okay?
Who the hell is that? Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcone had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's gonna want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this, why? Well, yeah, look, about you going away. I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I'd work for Falcone just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. So, uh, how's life? Do you mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. <laughs> Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive? Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. You ever get the feeling you'd be better off in a different line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Yeah. And I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Enough for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Can't argue with you there. It was a red light, you know. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, a guy I know who works for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. Eh. Okay, tell him to stop by. 
<sighs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now, take a seat, Henry. So, Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now, that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clementi and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. Now we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See ya.
Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here. Oh, shut up. Leo, this Leo, up put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, us. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong with okay, you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out what? of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clemente lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you! Stop talking for Christ's sake, get dressed and let's go! Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage? They don't know we're expecting I can't do that. I know the guy, I'm actually the one who got him the job. Huh? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late, they're here. Oh shit, Henry can't see me here. We gotta hide. Quick, before he comes up here. We can get down to the backyard this way. Just need a rope or something. Go get some sheets from the laundry. Maybe we can fit in here. You gone nut? Got any bright ideas? I sure the hell don't. gun down and send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him, you gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry, I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't wanna watch, you can leave. And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Rito, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Rito. Go. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. 
Well, first, let's get out of here before your friend changes his mind. Okay, Vito. Now, get me over to the train station, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> this town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. You, uh, gonna tell Frank what happened? Sure I am. But don't worry, I ain't gonna mention your name. You're gonna have enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Leo. You know, this whole thing got... complicated. Real fast, you know? Of course it did, Vito. What did you expect? You swear the oath to put on a fancy suit and then it's one big party? Carlo's always been a shady bastard. Even for guys in this business. I've been warning Frank about him for years. So what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna disappear. Let things run their course. I'm gonna take the first train to Lost Heaven. Make a few phone calls, settle my affairs. And then I'm gonna head for the airport. And I'm gonna go someplace warm. This time tomorrow, I'm gonna be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping one of them fruity drinks with the umbrella in them. One thing's for sure. If Carlo wants me <gasps> dead, then sticking around here is like buying a one-way ticket to the morgue. All right, here it is. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today, risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your vacation, old man. I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric! Your husband, why? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and whoa, he... Does he hit you? No, but he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito! Please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. Where is he? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay?
And there won't be any more partying with this guy again, ever. Unless you want me to come back and do the same to the rest of you. Got it? Francesca, Eric came home and he's all beat up. You said you wouldn't hurt him. He probably got in a fight. You know, he's been hanging out with a very bad crowd. He apologized for everything, Vito. He promised he'll be good to me. It's all okay now. So you'll leave him alone, won't you? Hey, whatever you want. But if he hurts you again, I'll kill him. <gasps> Listen to yourself, Vito. I, I, I don't know you anymore. Look, you... You stay away from us, you understand? Just... just stay away! <laughs> the place! Do it! Now! Born! <laughs> you Dago cunt! Born! <laughs> My house! Fuck!
Come on, Joe, don't tell me you're not home. Let's go! You better not be passed out. Come on! All your horses. I'm coming, I'm coming. What were you barbecuing in your underwears? Yeah. Can I come in? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. I I'll fix you a drink. What the fuck? Nice, ain't it? What the hell happened to this place? I spruced the giant up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's really, uh... different. Yeah, huh? I decorated it myself. So what the hell happened? Here, take this. Those crazy fucking mix. What about them? What'd they do? They tried to fucking kill me. What? And they burned my fucking house down. Son of a bitch. So what are you gonna do? You wanna go deal with the mix right now? Damn right I do. All right, relax. Have a drink. Let me make a few phone calls. And, uh, take a look at my closet. Unless you wanna go on a rampage in your skivvies. Thanks. Thought you'd never ask. Hey, it's Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. But I need a favor. A bunch of mix try to kill a good friend of mine tonight. Point this house down. I want to know who they are and where they're operating out of. Hey, you're gonna have a lot worse to worry about if you oh, don't tell great. me. A fucking clown suit. Mickey Desmond. Did he get any worse? Oh, oh, he is. Well, that explains it. Where is he now? Yeah, yeah, I know the place. All right, thanks. Hey, you finally got some style. I'm gonna want that shirt back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? Where are we going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Come on, get in. All right. So you heard anything about the mix lately? Nah, nothing. Why? The mix got themselves a new boss. His name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot, so he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. My money's on him being down at that shithole joint right now, laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So well, let's get over there and deal with him. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place, surprise the shit out of it. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax, we'll be there in a minute. Shit, you're gonna need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat him to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go get these fucks.
I told you. I chased him, but I lost. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. You. You've got some balls. Yes, I do. Look out! Who do you see? An asshole! Oh, bitch. Shut up, bullet! Fuck! Die already, you bitch! Beat me up, you know. You don't want to get on your bad side. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. I'm the best. Sooner or later. Takes care of that, huh? Yeah, but don't give me my house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have the cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right. Let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're from Marty's apartment. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So, uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me, buddy. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Marty's apartment's over in Oyster Bay. So you feel better now? Not really. What we did back there doesn't even start to make up for it. Hey, all that stuff that got point up is just things, Vito. Just things? Hey, those were my things, Joe. What do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. Now I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. Myself, I'd never be poor again. And then a fucking wharf rat like no man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full, isn't it? Hey, See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight.
What a fucking dump. God, I wish I had the cash for a hotel. Fuck, this is creepy. <laughs> 